Punk Revolution Mail. I just punk revolutioned now so loud in the introduction, my cat went running under, under the bed. I am so sorry, folks. But what has been done has been done, so let's start the review. We are going to be reviewing Angel Olsen's newest album, All Mirrors. This album is getting quite a bit of a hype and attention um, for pretty good reason, given that Angel Olsen you know, is a pretty big name already in the sphere of indie rock singer-songwriter, singer-songwriter, artsy-fartsy, hipster music, as you might say. So let's just start by freaking reviewing her newest album, All Mirrors, so we can see what the hype is all about. So let's start by taking a look at the freaking album cover. album artwork. I'm going to tone it down a little bit because the cat's in the room and I don't want to scare her anymore and I don't want to scare you. I'm sure I've already scared away a number of my viewers. I'm sure a lot of you have X'd out because of my loud, scary voice. And if you ha <coughs> and, if you ha and if you haven't X'd out already, go ahead and do that now, but please hit like first. Anyways, no, don't leave me. No! Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, album artwork is kind of bland. It's just a black and white photo of Angel Olsen. This album cover looks like it's just like a freaking generic pop album, if I'm being entirely honest and this is a pop album but it's not generic by any means this is actually a chamber pop album if i'm gonna be specific with you and chamber pop is basically you take that indie pop art pop indie fartsy artsy fartsy pop and then you put kind of like orchestra arrangements behind it so it has that orchestra behind the pop to make it feel so epic and so beautiful and gorgeous with the or or orchestra arrangements it's so emotional so it's a freaking gorgeous album in terms of the arrangements. And serious, folks, if I'm being serious with you, you take the freaking gorgeous arrangements, you got these gorgeous string arrangements, and you got this gorgeous freaking Angel Olsen voice, and the chemistry of the arrangements of the strings that are so beautiful, and the freaking Angel Olsen's voice, which is so beautiful, and you lather it in some reverb, and it gives it kind of a psychedelic feel, and it's just so beautiful, and the freaking atmosphere of this album is reminiscent of fantastic, some of the greatest psychedelic pop albums of all time, like Meriwether Post Pavilion by Animal Collective, or the Beach Boys Pet Sounds, because it's just got that reverb orchestra arrangements, complex arrangements, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So obviously this album is getting a lot of hype, and it deserves it because it's so freaking gorgeous, and the production is so sonically, sonically, this album is an amazing experience. And then, and it's pretty much consistently a fantastic sonic experience from start to finish. And some of the songwriting on this album too, like the song Lark, the first song on this album. You put it on, it's just a fucking roller coaster. It's so ambitious. I think a lot of people are going to think when they listen to this album the first time that they're listening to a very important album, given sonically how so, how it, it it feels important, given the amazing, beautiful production. And, like I said, Lark and some of these other songs really have some really t uh, top-notch, gorgeous moments with some really d nice dy dynamics. But it's, it, uh, mm, 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 mm. is it really as good as Meriwether Post Pavilion or Beach Boys Pet Sounds? I'm going to go with no, folks. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think this is going to be an album that uh, has the longevity of those fantastic albums. I think this is going to be an album that goes down as, you know, one of the top for a lot of people of the year. But I, some of the songwriting on this album, you strip away the beautiful production. You strip away the gorgeous vocals and strings. I mean, all that stuff is really important, and it goes a long way into making this album a great album. But if you just hypothetically take all that away, and you're just left with the sing the songwriting, the, the chords and the melodies, just the fundamentals of the songwriting. I think the songwriting on this album is good, has some great moments, but overall isn't fantastic. It's just good. I think from the songs like Impasse onwards, like the second half of the album, besides Chance, which has a really nice swelling kind of emotion to it, uh, I feel like a lot of the songwriting in this album is kind of lacking. It's just good. Good, but not does the production the, the beautiful vocals that's great, but the songwriting is just could have been more creative, could have been more ambitious, could have been tighter, could have been developed more, and that's a really important part of the album. So it does get a little bit bland, in my opinion, kind of like by the middle into the second half, which is a big flaw. So I'm actually going to give this a 7.9, but still a gorgeous album. Uh, definitely one you want to put on to and just fucking lay in bed to and just have a good time to. Enjoy that gorgeous production. Enjoy Angel Olsen's gorgeous vocals. <gasps> no, don't run. 
Joe, say hi. Say hi. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Punk Revolution now.